How's it going you guys? It's Bryce with Suds and Go Mobile Detailing and Spotless Water Guy. And who would have thought that, uh, you know, after starting my detailing business and then the launch of our Spotless Water System, that we would be also uh, now working with RV storage facilities with their own wash bay. So that's what we're doing today. Um, we are installing one of our Spotless Water Systems inside of this wash bay here. And, uh, the prior company that installed a spotless water system actually did a pretty terrible job and it wasn't a spot free water system it was only an ro system they had no carbon block and so the uh, system has fouled the ro membranes are no longer good so we're ripping out the old one and we're putting in mine and uh, so today is a rip out a tear out and an install and uh, i'm really excited for this project i think it's going to be uh, a lot of fun and if it goes well um the owner of this company has said he's got another storage facility that he's building in Payson, Arizona, that will uh, be installing one of our systems there as well. So stay tuned, we're gonna get started. All right, so we just arrived here to the job site and the first thing that we're doing is draining the water tank because inside of here is a bunch of hard water. So as we get our new system mounted and running, the new tank will start to fill up with spot free water. Also, I noticed that the prior company when they drilled these holes up here, left a bunch of plastic shavings inside of the tank. So I'm gonna then run a hose inside the top to wash out whatever's left in the bottom that way we don't get any plastic shavings in any of our equipment um, if it leaks through the, uh, the output. So that's up next. Now that we've got the yuck cleaned out of the tank, this is ready to be filled up with spot free water. All right, so we've ripped out the old system here. This guy is no good, no bueno. And we've installed the G1 by Spotless Water Guy. It came out looking really sharp. Our custom mounting bracket makes mounting this thing a breeze. Um, and then what we ended up doing is just to secure this to this wall a little bit more, I did end up, we ended up drilling two holes and running two bolts right across the bottom. These panels do not come uh, with pre-drilled holes. So you gotta drill your own if you decide to do that. Most of the time, once you hang it, you no longer have to secure the bottom, but we decided to in this application. Uh, for this one, we've got two DI resin housings. When you purchase this system, it automatically comes with uh, one resin housing, the big blue. Now, because they're going through a lot of water here at this facility, at this location, um, this customer opted to purchasing another DI resin housing. So that's what that is. That's one cubic foot additional of DI, re of DI resin. So essentially with this setup, you guys, they're gonna get an insane amount of spot-free water before they have to change out that DI resin. But uh, we've ran our float switch here. Everything looks really nice and clean. And then the DI out line, um, Jay over there, <laughs> did an awesome job running this and making it look really, really clean. So you can see up here, we leveraged the, uh, the holes that are already cut out in these beams. And then this guy, we're gonna cut it to length and it's gonna go right in here. So we're gonna do some water testing next. Before we actually connect that water line, I wanna do some flow tests. If it passes the test, we're gonna connect it into the tank, let this sucker start filling up, and then this RV storage lot is in business. Um, when these customers come by and clean their RVs, they're gonna be able to have the peace of mind and being able to drive off and not have any spots show up. So 
pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited, you know, from start to finish, this one went in really, really fast. So it helped that he already had a tank here and a pressure washer. But um, why I'm so excited is we've never actually used our water system in conjunction with a credit card reader. So if you come over here, this is where the customer, um, you know, swipes their card. And once they do, they get four minutes of runtime on the pressure washer. So pretty stoked. We're gonna turn this thing on and uh, see how it goes. All right, so the water level is above the outlet line right here. So it's time to test, make sure we're good to go. So we're gonna get out our card. Okay, let's see how this works. Arriving. All right, zero parts per million. That's what we're looking for. Your incoming tap is at 428 parts per million. It's coming out of the RO at seven parts per million. And your DI is coming out zero, zero, zero. This is magnetic, so you can pull it off and just stick it right back up here. All right, you guys, so we are all done with the install. It actually went really, really smooth. Uh, we ripped out the old water system right there in the back of the truck. And uh, we've got the new one. Let me flip my camera around. Rocking and rolling. It's on and has been feeding the tank. It's filling up nicely. We've got a really good flow rate coming out of this thing. And I think the customer is gonna be super stoked with his wastewater consumption. We've got a new membrane we're using um, called our VFT, Variable Flow Technology, and it reduces wastewater substantially. So believe it or not, that is a trickle compared to uh, other membranes. I think he's gonna be super stoked with that. All combined, it's 1.25 cubic feet of deionized resin. He's gonna get an insane amount of spot-free water out of these two housings. Um, he's gonna go a long time before he has to replace these two. We replaced uh, some quick connects with our glands here so that we could uh, replace the 3 8 lines with half inch, a lot wider. Um, since we're using a much larger membrane than what he had, those two small guys right there. So it basically stopped working. We had two choices that we could make. One is we repair what he had or replace. And I was not about ready to dive into that mess. So I'm like, we're gonna replace it, rip it out, put in ours. Cause then I know what I'm dealing with and what I'm uh, what I'm up against. Um, I think uh, the customer is going to be super stoked with this. And I just sent the customer a video. He was really thankful that we fixed this problem for him. His customers were complaining that as they sprayed off their RVs, they were getting spots all over it. So uh, we came out and we fixed the problem. Um, kind of a cool moment for me. And I sent my wife a text. I'm like, I'm kind of getting a little emotional. I'm not an emotional guy, but um, we spent a lot of a lot of time perfecting this water system. Got it out in front of mobile detailers and to see it now expanding and getting into uh, wash bays, um, it was really cool, really cool day for me. And uh, I'm proud, proud of what we got here. And I know that this system is gonna last this customer a really, really long time. He's gonna be really happy with it. But uh, anyways, just wanted to film just a quick video update of what's going on in my world. I hope everyone's doing great and we'll see you on the next one.